You ever been standing under a tree and you felt like it was raining on you, but it wasn't raining? There's just little droplets of water or sap hitting you, or even worse, you park under a tree and you come out and there's sticky sap all over your car. It's not sap. Well, it kind of is, but it's also not. Let me explain. Hear how my shoes are sticking to my pool deck? Yeah, and they've got like debris stuck to the bottom of them because of that sticky stuff. Also, look how pretty my Lantana and Angelonia are. Yeah, side note. Uh, yeah, so that sticky mess that's all over you or your vehicle or your patio or whatever it may be, it's not exactly tree sap. What it is is the excrement or pee from aphids. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, these guys right here, these are aphids, yellow aphids, and they have these mouth parts that are like straws. So what they do is they poke their mouths down into the flesh of the trees and they suck out all of the juice that they want and they filter out the nutrients that they need from it. And then they pee out all the excess, which is a sticky honeydew that gets all over you. Look how gross they are. So what do you do? What can you do when a bunch of little insects are peeing on you from 60 feet up in the air? You can't even really spray an insecticide on them because most homeowners don't even have access to a sprayer that would reach that high into a tree. Now one thing to know is that these aphids really don't do much damage to the tree. All that honeydew can be a breeding ground for black sooty mold and that's pretty scary looking but generally if you get a nice good rain it'll wash all of that away and they're not going to do any long lasting effects to the trees so you kind of just got to live with it and aphids are a cyclical pest so they're not always going to be this bad every year there's going to be some years where they're really mild and other years where they have a big population and are very very heavy and unfortunately this year in texas there seem to be a whole whole lot of them and there are a lot of people frustrated with them but like i said there's not a whole lot you can do unless you want to pay someone to come out and spray poison over your whole property but i just don't think that that's the best way of going about it and of course they will ease up and go away once the weather turns cold so yeah we need some nice cold weather and some rain and we'll be good to go anyway for more tips like this like and follow